Courage the Cowardly Dog says it? Oh, I thought it was a Game of Thrones thing. Oh, it's also in Game of Thrones? Okay. This is a scripted sanity effect. AOL saw this and lost her fucking shit, and it made me laugh so hard. This can't be happening. So we I've had a couple- I wondered if that's the actual title they would use for a sequel, had they made a sequel to this game. The developers have talked about it before, but since it's been such a long time, I doubt that it's actually going to happen. Spoilers, it doesn't happen. It didn't happen, and it won't happen. I'm so sorry. So sorry. Hello? Remember me, Alex. This isn't really happening. Um... War against something. I don't remember what the actual title is Who that comes their up. Their pantry like this. How did Edward get any food? I don't know. Who locks their pantry like this? It's a question. Just gotta stick in your sword. That's a big fucking spice jar, by the way. A lot of spice. Hey there, everyone. This is Rauko. He was on a diet. That's fair. of darkness has been extinguished. The pillar of flesh has been constructed. The master of chaos, the keeper of the ancients. It's like this is like I'm watching a movie with a bunch of people right now because I don't, I'm like, I'm not actually playing a game. I mean, I played, a, I guess I didn't play a game. Uh, somebody else played a game for me and then I made this LP. The next millennium will truly usher in a new age. Your guardians, now prepare the gate. What cool cutscenes. Right, well, uh, that's it for today. So uh, see you guys. <laughs> that was Raukau ending the video. <laughs> I had to have him end the video. Welcome back to Eternal Darkness, everybody. Like any good Michael Bay movie, we've got some great lens flare going on, but let's read the next chapter page, shall we? Michael Bay? I will I've not said J.J. Abrams? I was shocked by the sudden mention I don't know. of one of my ancestors, the distinguished Dr. Maximilian Royvas. It was a rat. To my bones. He's just vibing. Where had this ancient book come from? Oh, I remember what we did How during this my chapter. Sister stumbled upon it. <laughs> I feverishly began to read more, eager to learn his story. It seems that Maximilian. I don't think that I did like sanity effects in every life. single chapter of this. Alone since but I don't feel like there weren't any at the end. Children had their own adult I definitely fast forwarded the game and used the Katamari Damacy music at one point. But I don't really. I think that was at the end of the game. This dude is it has so been two wild. Weeks since the death of my father. Has finally come to me to look over the mansion. Like he, your dad dies, you're like this old. And forced to start a new life here in Rhode Island. I intend to make the mansion mine and live in it as my forefathers have to continue the family tradition. I like Birdemic. I like bad movies like that. Secrets, I'm sure. And in my time here, I have to make them. Look at that hand. Look at his chonky hand. 
Dr. Maximilian Roivas is a medical doctor and a teacher, and he is voice acted by William Hookins. He's also old and fat and slow, and that kind of makes the gameplay a little bit more difficult in this chapter. But it's made up for by two things, to, in my opinion. The amazing music and the ability to do autopsies, which I will speak of a little bit later. Autopsies are super fucking cool. Oh, I wish his wig would fly off. Oh my god, that would be so funny. Um, autopsies are really, really cool. Um, I wish that... I wish that it was easier to show them off, but there is a video that I made that in is story, after the... Max's father, Aaron, expressed that he has the Tomb of Eternal Darkness, no one has been able to read it, and that it must stay in the mansion for in the wrong hands. It would be a powerful weapon. I try to describe, or to like, um, sum up the... Fuck yeah, the music. Yo, this music is bop. Yeah, the church bells in the game. Enemy, Max has an option to do an autopsy. I will be showing how to and all of the autopsies in a bonus video. Yeah, this dude rules. I find this puzzle to be worded strangely. By greatest foe, they mean the stronger alignment. Oh my god. Max's weapon's choice perplex me. An ornamental saber wouldn't be much good for fighting. And the flintlock pistol requires front loading and only takes one bullet at a time. Yeah, this is very, very Lovecraftian, obviously. Like, I think that um, it draws from it without stealing anything from it, really. Also, this part can be really confusing because there's, like, if you get a sanity effect here, you have to letter, kill Aaron a fake thing. That his house has been possessed and he does not wish to enter it again. And the person to whom he is writing should leave and take the tome with him. Yeah, this is before I had a kid. Yeah, Max was born in 2012. Um, so that was another Sandy effect where I had about six of us record our voices over each other and then everyone said something different at the end so that it kind of turned into a mess. Essentially what was said there was um, Ulioth is obviously weaker than Zelatoth, but it's better to enchant, enchant the weapon with something than nothing. Noise to whatever element that you have it enchanted to. So now that Uli Hey, that was rude. That was really rude that she just walked up and punched me. There are only four locations in this game, but they change over time. So you can see the very big difference between Pius's jaunt in the Forbidden City and Kareem's, and now the mansion in Rhode Island that uh, Alex is also in is very different in the 1700s than it is in the 1900s. Oh God, that person scared me. Oh my God. Like me beep, so I'm not even playing this. Yeah, that is something interesting about like old school authors really like sharing each other's Some spells are pretty easy to figure out without the spell scrolls. However, spells like reveal invisible are absorb an area and it's not really easy to figure that out without the scroll. Um, just the combinations of authors using each other's ideas and stuff is very cool. Um, Unfortunately, in this playthrough, we missed one of the letters, but in it, Max's father says that there are the ruins of an ancient city beneath the mansion, and the only way to get through it is through the basement. So that's a bit. That's a big tell that this was post recorded because I was like, we missed one of the letters. I definitely mentioned in the original OP that Vega played this for me, that I didn't do this myself. Like, it was a combo LP, essentially. I don't think I had them do any over, like, any voiceover work for this, though, at all. 
In his final letter, Aaron says that the creatures are coming to take the book, and he has sealed this envelope with a magic that is only able to be opened by someone who is fighting for the side of good. Are we though? I'm actually scared by this game right now. Oh yeah, because this is like fake, but you still have to do it. It's difficult to see right now because of the color scheme, but this is a Chaturga horror. And what it does is, uh, along with its power to hit you and drain your health, it saps your health through lightning. Yeah, you can cut their heads off from behind their bodies too, which makes things a lot easier. I don't think first time players recognize that. And you really just have to cut their faces off, which I think that definitely not something that was communicated to AOL or Mecha. I don't see either of them really doing that. I don't think the game makes that clear at all. Huh, that was odd. Well, now that we have the Chaturga rune, let's try using the healing spell. Finally have a healing spell. That's not good. Ah, uh, yes, one of the more annoying ones. I don't think that actually uses your magic, though. No, it doesn't. Okay. If you look on the right here, you see on the painting, there's actually a door in the back of the hallway. Oh, there's pistol bolts there. Reveal invisible spell. My eye is really getting fucked up. Yeah, thanks for hanging out. Have a great night. There's a really great remix of this on the soundtrack CD. Let me play a segment of it for you. This is not real. Oh my god, the demons are coming! They're coming out from the darkness to feast on the flesh of us mortal fools! There are big ones, and there are small ones, and there are medium-sized ones. I, I can't quite judge the size from here! But what are they wearing? They're wearing... By god, they're wearing the skins of their victims! They kill, they I'm a big fan of that mix. I think it's because it's got a great beat. Uh, that is the soundtrack, which you've been hearing this whole time. I had Freezing Inferno's freestyle over it. Um, very, very, I still think about that and laugh a lot. Just, there are large ones, there are small ones, there are medium ones. I can't quite judge the size of them. I love it, it's so good. I feel like AOL died in that room like 850 times. I don't think, I don't know if Mecca did. Oh, we got muted. This is a cool sanity effect. I really like that one. We got a sanity effect in, hold on, I'll explain it, I'm sure. That was a randomized effect inside a scripted effect. Yeah, so the mute effect was so, it when you go down those stairs. you screamed twice too. Yeah, it is. Um, so you go down these st this ladder and it scriptedly puts you in the insane asylum room, but I also got muted. So the mute effect wore off, then we were just in the room and then the whole thing wore off. The it was field spell is pretty worthless. I don't think I've ever used it because it requires a lot of patience and good timing. I don't think we ever used damage field in this playthrough. It's just as his father said in the letter, the ruins of Enga are beneath the mansion. Yeah, this is such a Lovecraftian thing that underneath, like, the thing, there's a whole world. It looks like a really cool matte painting. I really love how that looks. I can't quite judge the size of them. So cool. I don't think we autopsy anything in this, but... There's a video that's after this that does all the autopsies. A lot of the comments on these videos are about how the strategies we used helped people beat bosses in this game, which I thought was really interesting. Um, Cause see, we have the right enchantment. Interesting. I wonder why she used the. Here we've come 
across a lesser guardian of Zelatoth. The three guardians look completely different from one another. This one looks like bodies fused together. The Chaturga one looks like a spider, and the Ulioth one looks kind of like a jellyfish. They're pretty easy to fight. They can occasionally summon monsters to attack you, but as long as you uh, enchant your sword or gun and run at it, hack and slash until it runs away, you should be fine, and make sure you heal when you have to. I don't know why she used um, Ulioth here. Um, should have used Chaturga because Chaturga would have hurt it. Um, hurt it more, I guess. Although that fight is pretty simple the way she just did it. Yeah, and possibly large things like that are so scary. I think that's why Resident Evil has all so many like huge underground Next tunnels and spaces. But not without its toll on me. That was but one. And there was an entire city of them. Yep. I could not hope to fight them all alone. Nope. I knew I had to get help. I love it. He just like turns around. He's like, no, I'm not going down there, buddy. That's a no for me, dog. I can't. And then in the seven, in the seventeen hundreds, when you tell somebody, "I saw giant monsters in the ground," you know what they do? They put you into the into the jail. <laughs> they put you into the jail forever. His wig came off though, so he's got no wig on, wig on now. This guy chews the scenery. Like, I love this guy. Instead, they jeered and threw me into this forsaken place. A place of empty souls and fevered thoughts, reeking of fetter and decay, thinking me mad with delirium. <laughs> Fools cast away their hopes of salvation by locking me in this. Was it the lock of Ness or the big of foot? Yeah, exactly. Otherwise, please stop. So, I named my Let's Play May the Rats Eat Your Eyes, but this was, like, really controversial for some reason. People were, like, there had somebody else had named their Let's Play that, too, but they never finished theirs. And then I, had like, changed the name of mine or something, I think. I literally don't remember. This was 10 years ago. Who fucking cares? Who fucking cares about Let's Play? I don't really. I don't know. I care about this game, though. It's a good game. I'm scared something's going to scare me in this game. It seems no puzzle is opened up in front of us as usual, and we still have a dresser key. And the best place I can think of to go to find a dresser would be a bedroom. There is a jump scare coming up. Just so everyone's aware, this game is not jump scare heavy. There is literally one. The painting's still looking the same, but the rug has had better days. There is a jump scare. You're about to get jump scared. I'm just forewarning everyone, do not get jump scared. Or I mean, feel free to get jump scared, but when we look at the bathtub, there will be a jump scare. This I'm is just- a very short letter, obviously written after Max has lost his mind. You're thinking about uploading a playthrough advice? Uh, yeah, it depends on what you're looking for from it. Like, if it's just a playthrough of a game, no commentary, that's pretty cool. Um, if it's like a speed run, I feel like that's interesting content also. We can't open this thing. Reveal invisible. Now we can. My fucking eye, y'all. My eye is still messed up. Your guardians have located the heart of Mantarok. Yes, located within its graves. I feel like they're I feel like bathtubs can be really scary places, right? Like 
conceptually drowning or like that's where people sometimes self-harm um, or commit suicide um so bathtubs can be really super scary that my binding of mantarok fueled by your very own power will be enough it is not your sorcery that we doubt augustus but the power of the dead god how can you I don't understand how you can like understand what's happening in this game the first time you play it. Like I literally don't understand how you can understand that. Depends on me, Majesty. Without me to open the gates. Yes, yes. Be quick, lest our power and our faith in you wanes to oblivion. If anyone remembers the major blackout that happened in 2003, you were playing Clock Tower, and then oh, and then there was a blackout. Oh my gosh. That, like, when I get scared by something like that, especially when I was younger, I would that's be scared. This video, make sure you check out the autopsies video. It's something that's really intricately made in the game and can be missed by a lot of first timers. See you guys next time. Oh, there was blood coming out of the painting. So this is the scenes from Max. Here's the alternate bosses. I'll show this for just a minute. Like, look at how different these, like a AOL hasn't seen these. Let's look at the Spider-Man. Such a different looking boss than the than the like bodies fused together. Very cool looking boss. And then here's the other one. It's like a weird octopus looking squid guy. They look super cool and different. Yeah, I thought you might appreciate that. They look so cool. Fighting them is not crazy different or anything. They just look really different. Very, very cool stuff. And then here's the autopsies. Like, he, human soul. he just goes ham. It with their own putrid spirits, but they couldn't fool me. No, not at all. I could smell this is actually scaring me. All around me, dear God, all around. I knew what I had to do. They had to go. My blade and bullet. I had to get rid of them. And this is like, look, it's like 12 minutes. 12 minutes of this guy screaming. God, I had to do it. And it's just so sad that like most people who play this game don't ever see this. Don't you? So fucking scary. Okay, I can't watch any more of those. I'll pee. Too scary. And that's a good point too. Bathtubs are pretty vulnerable places. Like you're naked. Do you like my subtitled LP? I don't know what just, I don't, that sure was a sanity effect. That sure was a sanity effect. <laughs> Welcome back to my Let's Play. I don't know how long I did. Oh no, did I do that for a long time in this video? I don't remember. I discovered mention of a breakthrough in satellite radar imaging that revealed the presence of a hitherto it's really funny. mound in the Anka Tom region of Cambodia. An archaeologist of some repute, Dr. Edwin Lindsay, took it upon himself to investigate the area, to reveal the secrets of history. I like this character too. Unfortunately, the local government at the time thought differently requiring that Lindsay find other means into the country and to finance the expedition. He found these in Paul Augustine, a collector of rare items. Interesting. An interest in the discovery so he also talked to help. Paul? I don't remember After that. Dysentery riddle two week venture. Lindsay and Augustine located. The oh, I guess they are here together. City temple. Huh. Dating back to the 12th century. Interesting. Oh my god, my eye, y'all. Oh, because Paul's super old here. That's why I forgot it was Paul. He's like excessively old here. That's interesting. I forgot that this guy was like the other character. How dare you? 
So action movie. My God. Why does he look? Why is his outfit like that? Not it's so. In that regard, I have several centuries more experience than you. Yeah, this is very Indiana Jones section. Die quietly, and you will not oh, is this pious? I don't even remember this part. It is pious. Okay. It is pious. This dude is just like every like hipster guy. Yep, I guess I just did subtitles here for a while. I don't know what this is some this is some um sanity effect shit. That worked very well. Yeah, the character designs um, are super, super cool. Oh, yeah, and this character gets to to, to um, use an archaeologist for us to clean up the floor. It's very cute what they did in this one. Like, look, now you can find this bracelet under here. What I consider eternal darkness a meaningful horror game. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, I think that the I wish that it was... Um, I wish that it was more known. Um, but I also feel like... There's something to be said for the fact that, you know, whenever people do play it, they really like it or really enjoy it. Older but healthy. Yep. Time for my favorite room. Time for screaming. Oh my god, I'm scared right now, y'all. Yeah, Max never came in here. I don't know why they don't have Max go into this room. I think it's because the book is in his house, I guess. Um. Like he doesn't have to come get the book because it's already in his house. It's interesting. Oh, I guess Max has happened by now. We're gonna let these two do their do their own thing. In fighting. He's got a lot of weapons, too. This is where Elia fell. There are a lot of fetch quests in this one specific chapter. I don't mind a fetch quest, I guess, most of the time. I do not remember writing any of this or doing any of this part. That's really funny to me. Yeah, can you imagine walking down that hallway and stepping on all the mouths? I guess I was mad this day. Like, fuck all of this. Is this whole episode subtitled? It might be. Yeah, I don't mind a fetch quest when it's good. Like, I don't like going back and forth a whole lot, but when it's like, makes sense to the plot and is like, interesting. I don't, I feel like this game, the interest, the thing that's interesting for me is that I don't feel like this game had a lot of like, inspiration for the industry, like for, um, for horror games. I feel like it was like a, a I don't know how to explain this. It, it's a very good game and it's, was very inspirational for me. I think a lot of players, 
But I feel like it just got overlooked in the world of... Okay. Okay, you're scary. You're scary. Yeah, like, fuck this, I'm doing subtitles. I Maybe I just didn't want to do anything this week. I had the, I mean, it was like, um, it really was um, the experience of it. Yeah, I guess that's fair too. I didn't think about, so, so maybe like the game itself was not really influential, but the idea of sanity effects or fall, fourth wall breaks having to do with sanity. Um, and I guess like amnesia is also, you know, the game Amnesia has those effects in it, too. There's a lot of running and dodging in this game, too. I feel like if you're playing this and you're not doing that, you might not... Um, you might not do as well. It's interesting too, because I made these over the period of like months but I've never sat down and watched them all at once like this. Um, to be fair, I probably only watched them when I made them and then stopped, you know, never watched anything again. So. Scary. Mm. That was an interesting statement I made. I prefer combat. I don't know if I agree with that. My, my poor eye. It doesn't hurt, it's just. Goodbye. I imagine Pius setting these necklaces up, lighting candles, giggling like a schoolgirl. That is actually a funny, funny concept. But someone had to set up all these puzzles, right? Like, how did this get like this? Yeah, these are all trapped without me even going through this hallway. Um, yeah, he's just like, hee hee hee. Bloop, putting the necklace down, lighting all the candles. Yeah, this part is really confusing. One thing you don't have in this game ever is a um, a can or a, like a lighter or a, what do you call it? Um, a flashlight, really. Like you can use your torch as a flashlight, but you don't have like an actual flashlight. I don't know if these runes are like based off of something. They might be. I've never even like thought to look. See this time fire against uh, greenery. So using Chaturga was correct. This one little guy got summoned. I don't think you need to kill him though. I think you can probably just run by him. Running by stuff in this game just is sometimes it's fine and sometimes it's not safe at all. Oh, what did that say? What did that say? Whoa, what the fuck? I don't even I don't even know what that said. I can't even frame by frame it right now. 
Something about spouses. I saw the word spouses and that was it. Sanity infects inside the... You can press pause to frame by frame or period button? Really? Oh, you're right. I didn't know you could do that. Oh, I went too far. I was so impatient. We're going to read what it says because I don't know what it says. I don't remember at all. I've never done this before on a YouTube video. Thank you for telling me that. This guy gets cut in half. What did, what did the beep salt from 20, 2010 right here? Beep salt, what were you thinking? It makes sense, though. The explorer should be best suited. Sometimes I wonder if any of these people had spouses. I bet Lindsay was gay. I love it. I love this so much. This is... This is some fucking beep salt 1.0 bullshit. Love it. I bet Lindsay was gay. This guy is gay canonically now. That's what I said. That's what I said. You heard it. Very beep salt. Yeah, we, I got, we played everything in this game. We got literally everything you can get in this game. Yep, now I know that and we got to read that. Excellent. I like this little puzzle. I think it's interesting. It's definitely optional. Oh my god, my eyes are so messed up now. I'm trying to keep trucking, but I literally cannot stop blinking. Yep, they modeled the necklace, so they are going to use a necklace a lot. Yeah, some of these are also unavoidable, too. Yep, that's what I just said. There's something, like, vibrating in the background of this audio here, and it's really scary to me. I don't know if y'all can hear that. It's like really horrible. It's part of the music in the game, or like the audio in the game. It's killing me. It's definitely in the room because the moment I went into the menu, it stopped. It's very unsettling. That was the wrong one. I couldn't, I can't fix the, like any game players. I just had to live with them. There's a weird persistent sound outside your house. Do you live like near telephone lines at all or anything? Uh oh, what is about to happen? Am I about the sanity effect? So the text said there's someone knocking on my door. Oh. Okay. I don't. Okay. This is, uh, that sure is some subtitles. Oh, my mom is calling the cops now. The noises in this room, too. This is some deep beep lore. Yep. Not even, not even real lore. Just 
weird shit I did during a Let's Play in 2010. I don't know when this video was actually posted. Let's look real quick. I think this was when I reposted it in 2011. Yeah, so this wasn't... This wasn't, um... The first playthrough. It was just when I reposted it again. I really um, appreciate that I didn't write, like, or didn't say, like, what the necklace and the thing. And, like, it's very obvious what I'm doing. Like, there's no need to talk all the time. So, this puzzle, small dog. Um, no animal pal. That's true. That would be great if there was an animal pal in this game. I have to decide when I will take a break and take a nap or whatever too. I'm not like super tired yet, but I might, you know. You were a sophomore in high school in 2011? Oh. I was like a grandpa already. It's unfortunate how worthless the map is in this game. Only Clock Tower 3's map is worse. That's that's fair. That's fair. You know what this map is worse? Um, you know what map is worse? Fallout New Vegas' map is worse. It's really bad. Fucking hate that. Yep, we got lost. You don't remember Clock Tower 3's map? Good, there's no, it's it's because there's no reason to look at it. Nice. Yeah, New Vegas' map is so bad. We did no work and we got to recover some sanity from that guy. Very, very fun. We're just running in circles here. I think we have to go in the hole with the trapper spell. Yeah, this running around in this area is not fun. No, they did not improve it in New Vegas. It's New Vegas, I never played Fallout 3, but New Vegas's map is so bad. So bad. It was super frustrating for me. like that. Did he just never tell her about anything? I guess he wouldn't have wanted to. Yeah, that one's really creepy. I agree. Past me. I 
remember seeing anyone playing this because I didn't get to see both uh, playthroughs that I watched recently. I didn't get to see both of them completely doing the game. It's the problem with time zones. Yeah, this is why playing with red is so hard because even just seeing a couple of these guys here, they're so hard to fight. Like if this was a majority of enemies, they take all your health away. It's so annoying. Very frustrating. Yeah, because this isn't waves of zombies. This is just like a couple of them. Because I'm trying to think of, because I mentioned Kareem's was like the only one with a lot of, uh, with zomb uh, zombie waves. If I had a copy of this game, would I stream it? Probably. I don't have a copy of it at this point. I have let people borrow this. I have let people borrow Rule of Rose. Um, I don't know if AOL went back and got this because I don't remember what this is. And like I said, I didn't, I don't think I saw AOL or Mecca playing this chapter. But I feel like AOL got all of the effigies. I don't know. I didn't see Mecca f fight the final boss. I mean, need to go back and watch the rest of, but I don't know if their videos are up anymore. See how dark this is? You don't get a light source, really. This is one of those rooms that there's no reason to fight anything in it. Rule of Rose, I really enjoyed what I played of it. I never finished the game. Um, I watched part of Illithid playing it, too. It's a really fucking disturbing, like very, very disturbing game. Like, this is very much like... A bunch of grown-ups summon Eldritch Horrors or whatever versus, like, Rule of Rose is, like, children. Hey, Zarkrai, good morning. Getting all my sanity sapped. So we're watching my playthrough of Eternal Darkness from 2009. Um, it is a Let's Play, um, and I use sanity effects in my Let's Play. So right now we're watching uh, my lovely subtitled, um, I don't know what this is supposed to be, but I'm like, and I have something in my eye that I'm waiting for it to get out of my eye, which has been in my eye for like an hour, maybe. Chaturga. The music is so creepy right now because my sanity is low in this. I'm actually having like a scared time. Like not like super duper scared, but scared enough where some of the things are like a little scary. I'm just glad to know that um, there are no jump scares in this game. We already went past the one jump scare. So we can just be scared by the weird voices. So like you get this spell and you get it so late compared to when you were at that area. How am I holding up? I'm vaguely tired. My internet is not being super great right now. Um, and we edited out all the backtracking. Yay. Am I the look over my shoulder type of scared? Yes. Like, is there somebody back there? Somebody over there? I don't really know. Now we made a little friend. So I've also re remember both AOL and um, Mecca had problems with figuring out how to do this well. Um, I 
Hello, Utopian. Welcome. Oh, yeah. Ewa must have come here. If chat was like, look up behind you, would you hate that? Probably. Probably. Unless there was something really behind me, then that would be very scary. So we walked all the way back here to get this rune, which is very worth it. When I wanted to LP this, I was like, I have to do literally everything. So there's, I literally have everything in the whole game. Like there's nothing that was missed. There's no hidden secrets in this game that I don't show off. Hi, buddy. I am really surprised I did this whole um, thing um, with subtitles, honestly. That was the LP climate at the time. It was for the most part, but like getting, showing off everything or getting every secret has never been really my true tea. No, Zero's not in here. He's probably on the couch sleeping right now. That's the nice thing about this LP is I definitely edited it down so we don't have to walk back through things. There's a lot of backtracking here. Like, do, his body's like breaking through the floor in certain places. It's so cool. Try and think of a good time if I am going to stop and take a nap that will make it so because I have to get up. At, I have to take Max to school at eight. So I'd have to wake up at seven. So maybe if I like pause at like four and go sleep for like three hours, that might be a good idea. And then come back, drop off Max at like eight and come back online at like eight fifteen or something. I think that might be a good idea. Maybe we'll do this whole, I don't know how far we are through this LP, but maybe we'll do the whole LP and then I'll take a, a sleep and then I can come back because I don't have any plans. I plan to have the whole day off, so. Um, and then we, I can just pause. I know some people don't pause their subathon when they, if they go to sleep, but we're definitely pausing. Then I can come back and continue it. I think after Edwin, there's quite a bit left still. Let's see. There's Elia. I love that. I love how the characters all interact with each other so much. It's just very cool. Like, I, I feel like... Um, I feel like there's so much interweaving these plots together that really, even though there are 15 characters, they really feel... They don't feel like 15 different stories. It feels like one story. Fuck is a gathering of light? I don't even know. Oh, that place. Take the heart there, or the world shall fall under a reign of eternal darkness. Yeah, the church is so scary, especially when I think the church, the next church chapter, you go back and you see, um, you see, uh, is it Paul there? I know she said the title, Eternal Darkness, baby. Darkness is eternal, baby. Don't touch it. So Ellen gives it to our dad, right? Yep. Grandpa. Oh, it's her grandpa. Sorry, not our dad. Grandpa has no ass to throw. I'm sorry. Sorry, grandpa. The demon of Khmer. So the sanity effect for this chapter was just nonstop text, all text, no, no talking in the whole video. 
and also pretending my mom was screaming at me. Yeah, when his dead body comes back alive to fight you, it's so cool. I think that's not, maybe the next chapter? Oh, we got a couple more minutes of this video first. Should Alex look behind the book? I love that it gives you the option for all of these, essentially. Claiming the heart of Mantarok. The voice, or the feet walking around is so scary to me. The sound that sounds like the AOL Instant Messenger door closing is not scary though. Uh oh, great, 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 Grampy, walking through the wall. Yeah, she just puts a whole thing in her pocket. I love this piece of stained glass. It's so pretty. Everything in this game is really nice looking. Oh, I don't think that, that AOL got the Mantrock rune, but she got the um, sword, which is easier to get. Yeah, so I don't know if I talk about, well, I'm about to talk about stuff that's not, hasn't happened yet, so I'll wait. Pargon, Pargon, Pargon. Should just get a Pargon tattoo. I don't like rune tattoos. They actually, they see, they're like white supremacy, white supremacy-ish, supremacist, uh, you know what I'm trying to say. Did I leave the alternate scenes in here too? I kind of want to see them. I, am not your food today. I must have. I am your master. Maybe we'll watch those because they're interesting. The I'm curious at least. Let no one touch it. Eurocentric, yeah. Yes, you're right, Zarkai. They do take away all the cool stuff. They do. How about how shitty my voice sounded in this video? Okay, beep salt. Okay, so wait, the next chapter is Paul. How far are we through this? Oh yeah, um, we're like halfway through. This chapter's 32 minutes long. Hey guys, let's read a fucking chapter page, motherfuckers. Yeah, fucking select that. What? In Europe. I don't... During the time of the Inquisition. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. ...ran deep. With the fear of devilry running rampant, the ancient's corruption extended far beyond... Mortal I don't know. Age. Beep Salt said, Corrupting read this fucking chapter page, how? ...corrupted. My researches uncovered an interesting incident. A Franciscan monk named Paul Luther was traveling through the region of Amiens during the witch hunts of the Inquisition. Now, under martial law, the Inquisition prevented anyone from leaving the town and its nearby cathedral. There's no way that woke Dom up. I was definitely already louder talking than that, I hope. I chose violence, I did. I said, read this chapter, Page How. Do it. Welcome to Oublier Cathedral, Brother Luther. You can't look at this man and not be like, this man is cursed. Look at him. Like, come on, bro. I shall not impose excellency. Acid reflux. No, you gotta get them tums. You gotta get the chewable tums. Sacred relic, the hand I did, I said the MF words. Many have traveled far and even risked their lives for a glimpse of the hallowed relic's true splendor. Of course, it would be wise to keep quiet during your stay. 
The Inquisition is here for a reason, brother. We seek to purge the deviancy from this town. I am sure that will not be a You can't rub my shoulders and talk about purging deviancy, buddy. It appears to be. But deviancy is secreted in the most deceptive places, which I believe is the case with Amiens. Then I wish you luck in your search. The Inquisition does not need luck, Brother Luther. Faith and purity are our guides. Yep, he straight up touched my shoulders, gave me a little rubby, and said, Deviant. Paul Luther is a Franciscan monk, and he is uh, obviously looking for the hand of Jude, as he just said. And uh, he was played by Paul Eiding, who's the guy who plays the Colonel in the Metal Gear Solid series. So, yeah, that and that. Why does my audio sound so weird in this video? It's very different than the other videos. Oh, God! God! Help! Come quickly! A murder, a murder most foul. What? Yeah, I don't know why the audio is different. I found him lying here, dead. I called the guards. Ah. It might have been a different setup. This might have been after. I think I took a break in the middle of the LP for some reason for something. So maybe that was part of it. I don't know. As for this man, make sure he doesn't leave the cathedral. We will question him later. But hold your tongue, Franciscan. Or it might bring my wrath upon me. Who is to say that you did not commit this murder? Yeah, there's no way for me to know the distance between videos now because they were deleted. Manthe! Hello, friend. Oh my gosh, were you playing Dead Space 3 with Jace? I know you guys were playing that the other day. Hopefully you were doing that again. I hey, welcome in. Here, but there's another cutscene. <laughs> yeah, that's what's happening. So we're watching. We're watching... A playthrough I did of Eternal Darkness like 12 years ago. Um, Are you here to pass sentence on me? No. Welcome in, everyone. I'm here to free um, if you've never seen this game before, it's really good. I did a lot of informative commentary during this LP, so we're just sitting back, kind of kicking back. I don't usually stream this late. I've been live for um, 14 hours so far. If you've never seen this game, this is a perfect time to come in. We're just starting another chapter up here. So this game is GameCube game. Really, really good game. It's one of my favorites. Um, talk about it here. Find me in the bell tower later, and I shall aid thee further. Why are you really? You haven't played this one? Oh, it's so good. It's really hard to get a hold of too. Like if you're trying to find a copy of it. But um, Firefly was mentioning earlier that this is like there's an HD upscale like patch or something for Dolphin. If you have like a Wii or the ability to play emulated, what can I do? If I were you, I'd run. They will surely hunt me if I run. This has to stop. Ayla was lost in this chapter for a really long time too. Like. It's, it was so interesting, I've said this already like three times, watching somebody play this after knowing this game so well and having played it so many times. If you're not following Manthe, Manthe is an excellent streamer. I actually got to meet her and Jace both um, at uh, PAX, and it was really super cool. I didn't get to hang out a whole lot because I was working, but it was cool to be able to meet people and hang out with Clock Tower people. Hoping at SGQ, some more of us will be able to meet up. I think there's a whole bunch of us that are going. Um, I really love this right here. We're going into my favorite room in the game. Screaming floor. Love screaming floor. So because this was an LP from like 2010, there's a lots of time where I'm not talking at all. Um, I think there was a just didn't want to overwhelm people with talking. Kind of just letting the gameplay show through. So this video, we actually have Vega with us, the guy who did the gameplay for this. Uh, this is why. Hi guys. Um, and this level's really cutscene laden. Would you would you say? Yeah, I think we've already seen that. <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna stop either. I think this is a really good example of how great the lighting in the, on the GameCube looks. They did a really good job making these backgrounds, like the lightning and everything. And then look at this is pretty badass. Yeah, especially considering how 
I guess you could say early in the GameCube's life this was released. It looks really, really amazing. Well, yeah, especially because this was originally supposed to be a 64 game. Yeah, exactly. So, like, and it, like this is just an, un- an unnecessary detail that they're doing right here. They don't even have to show that, but it's just something they put in there for the player to take a good look. And now, now we have to fight things. Now we know why the audio is all interesting, because Vega was here doing commentary with me. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, the, the, the cutscenes don't stop in this chapter. In fact, we've uh, only had about a minute of gameplay, and we're going up here to get in contact with a custodian who will then give us another cutscene. I love this chapter. It's so beautiful. I love the church. It looks so nice. The voice acting in this game too is like so good for like, this is a GameCube game that was originally supposed to be on the Nintendo 64. Can you compare this to Resident Evil on the PS1 and listen to this voice acting? Like, out of this world. Yeah, and this is also like a YouTube video from like 10 years ago, so you have to understand that it's compressed and stuff like that, but it still looks this good. Oh my god, whatever's still in my eyes, still in my eyes. You can compare it to Resident Evil on the GameCube. Isn't that remake, though? That's remake, not not the, not PS1. I intend to uncover the truth behind this. If you manage to uncover the story... Yeah, it was just ahead of its time, that's really fair. I will do everything I can to help. Till then, brother, may your faith protect Yeah, I'm just thinking about PS1 Resident Evil. I don't know off the top the time frames when um, Eternal Darkness came out versus so that. So now we have Paul's kind of quest thing or whatever the hell he's doing. Shit is kind of weird, I guess. Um, and, and we still don't have a weapon. <laughs> Yeah, still. Um, but the, the the tower key is going to take us back to the place where we were when we were Anthony back like the second or third part of the game. Um, but we have a lot of stuff to collect and a lot of backtracking to do before we can do this, which is really actually kind of annoying. Yeah, especially considering Paul's, I guess, endurance is it at least seems to me to be very low because he gets fatigued really quickly. Yeah, because like he. Is already you can see yeah, right here. Already. He's already done running. He's gonna walk really slowly for the rest of the, yeah. You have to like. I mean, you even had to stop here. Yeah. We, have, we haven't even made it to another thing to do. I don't really see why they even put this feature in the game at all because it's not really the type of game where you run away from stuff a lot. But it's still there. She makes I'm a good point really there. Why, yeah, it's not. It's not like Clock Tower or something like that. It's this yeah. is more like Silent Hill or Resident Evil. Yeah, in a way. Yeah, it's like Resident Evil. And it's a big, wide open area. You shouldn't have any fatigue because usually it only happens whenever you're not trying to run away from anything at all. You're just trying to get from point A to point B, and it's just an annoyance. I don't find a lot. Like I don't find when I'm playing this game that I run away a lot. Like I find that I fight. I mostly fa- fight all the monsters I see. Yeah, there, there's never really an overwhelming amount of monsters. You can usually just so run- throw all of them in the room without yeah. any problem. Running away ends up just like stopping your gameplay rather than making like heightening any kind of sensation and okay so like here we are with a bunch of stuff that has to happen we don't have a really set order specifically as to how things need to be um and the diary page will be in the thread um if you would like to read that um but we have a bunch of different options of locations to go and things to do um which some of them are completable before other parts, but I'm pretty sure that like most of it can just be d- done in whatever order. I think you found a pretty efficient route on how to do this, though. How many times did you play through this chapter before? It you... was quite a lie. I had a lot of trouble with this chapter and had to redo it a few times. And I think in doing so, I found a pretty, like you said, efficient route to collect everything. Feel free to pause here and read this if you'd like. Oh, there's our pause here to read. All right. Um, yes, Kenny. Yeah. There, there's... There... Uh, there's also um, a lot of ways to just fuck this chapter up. Yeah, there is. Um, which we'll see pretty soon. I mean, the, the weapons you have are not particularly awesome, even right now. I mean, this mace, not really very efficient. <laughs> yeah, really, I think it is Paul's best weapon, at least for now, because the crossbow can only hold, I think, one bolt at a time, and that's yeah. 
it can be useful, but just uh, reloading it is very time consuming and only having one piece of ammo, not really worth it for the power it has. All right, so now we actually get to use the tower key. Already out of breath again, by the way. Did the music have to go that hard? This is probably like the most difficult part of the chapter, yeah, I would say. Yeah, thieves are never, ever good news, really. Especially when they're inside of people. Like if they're, if they're outside, you're already like fighting them and you're already doing damage, but now it's just like starting over again. Yeah, but they still have that one hit kill move. When they just jump on you? Right, they just jump on you and barrow themselves into your chest and then you're dead. There's no real defense to that. You can have full health and still get killed. I do agree. Like that one hit kill is really, really stupid with the bone thieves. It's a cool concept, but then when you get killed and you're like, okay, it's just annoying. Poor Anthony. Seriously, like this is like the biggest tragedy of this game is this character is poor Anthony right here. who's still like trying to save Charlemagne. It's been like 10,000 years or something, not 10,000, but it's been like a thousand years. Yeah. And he's still like here with his two-edged sword, you know, waiting for it to save Anthony. Although like the fighting uh, is pretty easy. <laughs> I always thought this part of the game was actually really creepy. It's really creepy. You finally kill him and then he starts getting back up and just stay down, Anthony, for Christ's sake. <laughs> I agree. Stay down, buddy. Okay, good. I know Anthony was just doing his best. Like, poor Anthony. Charlemagne. I love a good tragedy story, though, like that. Rip in pieces. Like this one's easy to figure out without the spell. Because it's protect and self. That makes sense. The shield spell isn't something I really use very often when I'm playing this game. Yeah, really it doesn't, I didn't find it had much use until the later parts of the game. Yeah, when they have special puzzles set up where you actually have to use it to trigger to not be freaking dead. Right. I mean, like to save your health, you have to use the shield spell. But at this point, it's like kind of superfluous. Music puzzle. I like this chapter. I also like that this is the one that Vega and I did like together to talk okay, about so it. There's a lot of backtracking in this chapter. We're going to be making our way back down to the basement again. Oh, we added stuff out. That is one thing I liked about LPs back in the days. So this room is uh, filled with some of our little friends here. Yeah, trappers, which are not friends at all. <laughs> I'm actually going to use the crossbow here because for once it's actually useful. You always want to hit trappers from a distance, but... I tend to not like using the crossbow, not only for the reasons I said before, but you can see right here, I start to reload, but then I move too quickly and it stops, so I didn't reload. I'm trying to activate on this barrel there, but I had to end up reloading because I hadn't already done so. Play Moonlight Sonata in runes, I wish. I wish. I really don't know how these runes and things get inside of these monsters. Like, there's a diamond in this one. Yeah. Like, did he eat it? I don't even know. I don't, I don't know why you would. It just makes your door so transparent. And that, I don't see the benefit in that. So now we have a red gem, a green gem, and a blue gem. How fresh and cunning and new. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's another red blue green puzzle like every freaking puzzle in this game well not every but like a big portion of them are just red green blue puzzles and it's like after a while you kind of
get the point it's hammered into your head. Yeah, I think the monster ate it. And this one, it doesn't even matter which one you put where. You just have to use all three of them. So that's even, like, cheaper. Yeah, it's just a situation where you need to find them and then put them in the right place, which it's not difficult to find out where you need to put them. So we have the two-edged sword here, which is a much better weapon than the maze, but our really our first chance to use it is in this very narrow hallway, which we've seen in the past has been difficult. You Sorry if they're if we're both quiet here. Trying to be quiet so we can hear them. It's like our first kind of moment of combat besides that horror. I mean, like, we've pretty much been able to run away from everything else. Yeah, pretty much. And or trappers, I mean, but you don't really, you know, melee trappers at all. Um, I'm good. I'm going to try and make it through the rest of this Let's Play before we take a break. There is quite a bit, though, so we'll see. Also, good morning, by the way. Which video number is this? Um, it is seven. I think there's 12 videos. We're not gonna watch the videos that are like different alternative cutscenes. Knocking on the door. Yeah, I have to take Max to school in the morning, so we leave at about we eight. We need to take bets on who's gonna win this one. Yeah, it's over already. <laughs> I love the enemies fighting in this game. It is absolutely a treat. It's a pleasure. So that puzzle with the urns from Anthony's chapter is just completely gone now. I mean, this this chapter isn't really puzzle based at all. Yeah, last time we had to do a lot of things with fixing urns and putting water in them and all that. But here you see the floor panel is actually completely gone. All we have is bacon zombies. And you just gotta push it, and then it opens. Yeah, all Paul has to do is just push the shelf instead of any complex puzzle at all. Oh yeah, there was a big gap between these two videos. Thank you for finding that. So we Did... found two, two diary pages already, and there's a third one coming up in this next room. Uh, and the journey that the author of the diary pages, uh, another monk, takes is pretty much exactly the same as, as Paul's here. He, um... All he wants to do is, now that he's found this evil, is just the last page he says that he must uh, remove it or, or let, let others know that they need to follow him to prevent this from happening. Pargon. I found Pargon, chat. We did it. We found the Pargon. Pargon is pretty much the single most important rune in the game, I'd say. Just because it's used pretty much in every spell we're going to be making from now on. It's still kind of a filler, but it is like the power-up, I guess, version of that. It is a filler, but it's still a necessity in making spells. Argon. We did it! We've done a lot so far in this chapter, and we have to take out that Chaturga horror, so yeah, we're gonna save. Pargon achieved. Pargon Puffs is in one of these videos. I think it's the next one, maybe? It's coming up. Before we do anything, though, um, definitely gonna wanna enchant my item. I know we were talking about shields not being super important earlier, but this is one of those times when, because he has a tiny little health bar. Yeah, Paul is not strong at all, so really any precautions you take to defend yourself against the Chaturga Horror, I would go ahead and take it. So you're like, watch this. Shield is gone. Yeah, already shield's gone. Speaking of threads from a decade and a half ago, I found a post where Total Biscuit called me a twat. Or said I was totally useless or something like that. It was excellent. This part is very disorienting and very confusing on a first playthrough. Now we need to go see the custodian, but we haven't played our piece of music yet, so let's go do that first. 
Total Biscuit is the guy who the LUL emote is based off of. He was a game reviewer. He passed away a couple years ago. Doo, 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 doo. This is a fucking badass song. Like Phantom of the Opera bullshit. We're about to get powerful. Yep, we have beep lull if you need a lull emote and you don't want to use that one. Yeah, he did die of cancer, I believe. You're the reason for my probation, really? I don't remember that. I've been using a different essay account for like 10 years now. Like I don't, I have obviously got banned there on purpose and then never came back on that account at least. It points to Augustine's involvement with a paganistic cult operating inside the cathedral. Aye, the cathedral's dark secret has been uncovered. Ah, the cathedral's dark secret. Why does he talk like that? But was too afraid to act. Augustine himself is a heretic. He has covered his tracks well. Claiming that the sacred relic, the hand of Jude, was stored here. He had those who came to see it murdered. <gasps> the hand of Jude never existed. <gasps> and with that realization, the trap closes, brother. My days here are numbered. I, I was just talking about the good voice acting, and now I'm making fun of that guy, but... It can only mean one thing. What does it mean when someone puts a sword on your pillow? And they are moving to silence me. I can only hope that what little faith I have left is enough to save my soul. Please. I'm really sorry for all the blinking I'm doing. If anyone even notices, there's just literally been something in my eye for about three hours now. May your faith protect thee, Brother Luther. For that's all you have. That's true. It can't be all voices can't be winners. It means they think you're a lesbian. No, that's um, scissors. That's scissors. And now that we've climbed all the way back up to the top, it's time to go all the way back down. And now we're back here in the room where the Katurga horror was, and some of you may be wondering why we even bothered to kill it in the first place. Basically because right now it would be directly in our way, and so we just got him killed ahead of time. Is a sword on your pillow like roses or Valentine's chocolates? Maybe. I've never had anyone do it to me, so... Maybe one day. This is how gatekeeping works. Well, that was a five-sided thing, and we only have three. So what we want to do is make a new spell using the circle of power five. And for the two empty spots other than area and dispel, we want to use Pargon. Pargon. Scissors means you're in a clock tower game. I finished Nightcry. We got the good ending in Nightcry and I never have to play that game again. Achieving so many things during the stream. Oh no. There's the custodian. He dead. Now I have to speedrun it? Hell no. Not Nightcry. Not me. Not on this earth. I think we... I think that we... There was enough subs and bits and donos today that we are going to have to do Silent Hill 4 speedruns, though. 
finds the very source of corruption. I think of irony. Irony of what you, masquerading as a member of the Inquisition, stand for. And that you stand for evil. Oh, shit. Evil is merely a perspective which no longer concerns me, Luther. You will be executed in the most painful manner. In I'm like, time. it's it's late at night. It's like 2 hour, 2.24 a.m. right now. And I'm I'm scared of the dark. Like I'm scared of the night. I usually sleep at night. I'm not a stay up late kind of person anymore. So this is really like not scary scary because I know I'm playing. I'm watching a recorded video of something that I did. So I know it's not going to scare me. But I also like it's 2.30 in the morning. And I've been, you know, live for a million years. Frame him for his friend's murder now. So you can't really call it framing because it certainly seems like he did do it. I don't know how he could do it unless somehow the custodian got down here in front of him, got in the box, then he stabbed him, then somehow got around and like got behind him. How, how can you question this game of all games? Uh, I guess you're right. Good night, Firefly. Thanks for hanging out. I guess Vega was of the mind that she thought that he that that Paul did do it, <laughs> which is interesting. Oh, some of these sound effects are so stock sound effects, like that door sound. Oh my god. I kind of find this part of the level to be pointless. You're just kind of walking down hallways for a minute. I mean, they could have just cut this part out. Personally, I like it. I think it adds a lot of suspense. You're following the bishop once again. I think she's right. I'm wrong. She's right. Here we are. We're kind of at the end for him. Okay, so the, I was with AOL during this. This is this boss fight was like added into the game because the devs were like, I think they talked to Shigeru Miyamoto or something, and they were like, "You need a boss in this game." I'm not even joking. I don't. I might talk about it during this video, but I might not. I don't really remember. But this boss was not originally in the game. Originally, you're just supposed to see her here. And he was just she was just supposed to kill him. But but no. They added this in. I don't remember if I talk about it or not. Do you think God would have four arms? I think she would. And two personalities. Your task, my liege and greater guardian, is to guard this place. Wait, is this where you do fight her? Oh, maybe you don't fight here. Wait, if we do, it's really fast. Maybe this isn't where the fight is. No, it has to be though. Ourselves. Wait, does she kill him? And then wait. Okay, hold on, hold on. Why am I remembering this wrong? She definitely just killed Paul. If I am to guard this place, I d then I will do it. There's definitely a fight here though, because AOL died like a gajillion times, and that was why I was watching her. I think maybe the fight later? Or maybe there was supposed to be a fight here and they scripted it, but there's definitely a fight in this room. It's been it's been ten years. Why am I remembering this wrong? Hmm. Yeah, I think you gotta come back. I think it's the second time you come back here or the next time you come back.
all, the last thing we need to do is find ourselves a chapter page. And the only real thing in the chapter that had any kind of puzzle was the piano music. So we're going to actually go find the piano, which is in the back room over here, and play ourselves a little dance. Oh, there is a little bit of a jump scare here, too. Everyone needs to be aware. Uh, again, there is a little bit of a jump scare here. Be aware. It's not like a big jump. There's no like audio, but that can be really scary if you're not prepared for that. What is this scene? Who are you? I am your lord and conqueror. I am actually so scared for literally no reason. I think it's the lack of sleep is making me super scared. You are a gifted man. Take this one and use him as the foundation for the pillar. He is special and should be given a special place among the suffering. Okay, bye. Good ending. Okay, we're just seeing the lady and the man here. I know lack of sleep got me like Hey guys, and welcome back to Eternal Darkness. Yes, I am a girl, and no, I will not send you naked pictures. Oh, wait. What happened there? What happened there? What happened there? What happened? What happened? Hey guys, and welcome back to Eternal Darkness. Yes, I am a girl, and no, I will not send you naked pictures. Oh wait, never mind. Oh wait, never mind to what? Has been written oh wait, never mind to what? Oh wait, never mind to I'm a girl? History, one man's champion is another man's nemesis, hero or murderer. Hmm. Much has been written, hmm. but what has not is far more interesting. The tome of eternal. That was the first thing that almost made me cringe in this let's play. So that's good. It took us a couple of hours. Bianchi, roaming abroad I got to in my eye. He was captured by a warlord, expanding his empire. I don't the know if that was an insanity effect or what it was. Um, construct a monument to I definitely had people who would DM me and ask me for naked pic naked pictures. So he must I don't know. The site. I don't know. I hope it was supposed to be an insanity effect because it definitely caused me psychic damage in 2022. Survey the site quickly, dog. And maybe you'll live long enough to see the sacrament's construction. I don't think I ever had anyone on SA say stop talking about being a girl at any point to me. I don't remember that for myself. I trust you, Bianchi. Even though you are graced with the generosity of our liege, you are still his prisoner. As I said, finish your work quickly and maybe we'll drag you out of this hole. What is the noise in the background of this clip? Roberto Bianchi is a Venetian architect, and he was played by Philip Proctor, who also played the bishop last chapter, I believe. 
GameCube so advanced to use the player's voice for insanity effects. We've had a bunch of insanity effects already. We're in the same location that we were with both Kareem and Lindsay, and uh, we haven't found the book yet, so... Poor Roberto. I have no idea where he was hiding that torch. Uh, in his robes already lit? Yep. There's not really a lot of puzzles in this chapter. The main objective primarily is going to be to get, uh, to survey all the locations that we need to find on the map. We can see here that X's show up. They fade in and out, which sometimes can be annoying, to show you where you actually need to survey. So we're going to have to look around this room until we find this examine and survey it. I like all the little different things. Like when we were Edwin, there was like, you know, um... D dusting with your little brush and stuff like that. really not. All you have to do is go from lever to lever, pulling them until you open all the areas and get to that place you're trying to go to. I guess that might kind of be a puzzle. More like enemy waves, maybe. Yeah, chopping off the heads of the enemies is really just like instinct from playing this game um i think that and so starts one of the main problems with this weapon you can see that it's not doing any damage because only the part of the blade that's closest to the hilt is doing any damage the peak of it doesn't even actually count uh which can lead to a lot of problems later on there are collision issues with the like weapons in this game really I would think that Roberto would be really irritated by this because this is no way to design like levers and gates in the middle of a hall. I don't even understand like what was the point of that at all. It's a fair, fair situation. He is an architect, that's true. Oh, here we go. The room. You never know when it's going to strike. There's P. Luther. I guess that when you, when Paul Luther meets Edwin, or when Edwin meets Paul Luther, it's not really Paul Luther. It's Edwin, or it's, um, it's Pius pretending to be Paul Luther. hammering this home but it comes evident in every chapter that this game besides the sanity meter is just one of those typical throwaway horror games these things like strange lever puzzles and scared people hiding in the corner they don't really do much for the the um, oh. actual like gameplay the atmosphere is wonderful and the characters are great but each chapter has that same puzzle theme with the same at things going on over and over again it really kind of begins to irk me okay interesting interesting viewpoint I said, I'm bored with this game. I'm sick of this Let's Play. I said, I'm spoiled. I think video games are okay. Oh, the trapper. Sneaky trapper. in the game the Trevor universe is pretty much void anything you need to heal you can heal with the magic and the spells that you already have um, so just trying to leave here is probably the best choice and with how slow he runs getting in the purple circle can be really difficult you just want to go through the purple and get the fuck out of here
I really like how this enemy looks. God, this character is so slow, though. I think I was just a more impatient player at this point. Like, I was bored with the hallway I had to run down earlier. Like, I don't know. I think that might be what, what my problem was. Like, at the time. Does it feel like listening to a different person? Um, well, I was very obviously surprised by the fact that I said this game seems like, you know, typical horror shit. But I, I mean, I guess thinking about it, though... The exact same spell as Summon Trapper, except it has the two Pargons. I think it's right, though. I don't think that opinion is wrong. I think that it's right to say that it feels like standard horror fare, because a lot of this game is standard horror fare. And the sanity effects are like the certain little things take it to another level. I was worried it was gonna get hit during this. One little interesting detail they threw in here is that all these rats you see running around are actually killable. There's also ones in the kitchen in Alex's house. The rats are killable. You can't, like, eat them and suck one piece of blood out like you can in Vampire the Masquerade, though. I think you can kill yourself here. Honestly. I don't really remember. I know that puzzle seemed pretty obvious, but we got a couple things we want to do before we head on that way. We want to fight this mini zombie, and somehow Robert Wadlow's zombie is there. Not quite sure what he's doing in ancient Persia, but you know, there you go. That was a joke for myself, evidently, that nobody else got. But I appreciate it. Did you see that drip of blood come down from the ceiling? It's completely unnecessary to fight these guys, so just leave the room and you never have to come back here again. They're very mad. I don't know what happened. God, this is so, like... That's so loud. The blood falling from the ceiling is one of those subtle sanity effects that I really like. Kind of like the noises and backwards voices that start going on when your sanity drops. The idea of past me telling a joke only future I would get. That's true. That is true. I got a lot of jokes that only I get. Don't you have fond memories of this room? Remember when you and I together, we put these blocks in the right order? You put the red in the red and the green in the green. I taught you about the circle. Remember all these memories we've gone through? They're just, I feel so touched. That's actually, that was kind of funny. That was kind of funny. Do y'all remember that? That was like three hours ago. We put those blocks in the holes. 10 years ago, and then I watched the video an hour ago, and you saw the video now. And you probably, all, some of you saw it also 10 years ago. want to immediately leave this room because we need to grab the second item on our way to getting the ultimate uh, weapon in this game. Hope. Grampy. Help me, Grandpa. I can't take this anymore. Don't be so weak, Alex. 
attacks. You have a strong alliance. You saw Imperial Willen, I didn't know that you watched my LPs a long time ago. I thought you were like a newer person. You kept all this from me. Like until recently-ish. You shared nothing with me. I couldn't. She is mad. She's very mad. I just wanted you to grow up. To grow up and leave me alone. Why couldn't you have been killed with your parents? Obviously not your real grandpa. He's the big jerk. Do you think Roberto's having that flashback somehow? All right, so Grandpa's a dick. And what we see now, because our reveal of the spell is still on, is a sapphire apogee. Oh, shit, sorry. That goes along with the emerald one we picked up in Kareem's stage. And now we can uh, proceed with the area with the forbidden thing, since we actually have the key. Yeah, the forbidden thing. It's a totally different area. Jesus, that scared me. Well, we obviously can't just walk across this yellow lightning y floor. That scared me. Vega and I talked about this in another place that you have to use this when they were when we were in that video together. things were changed for this game because it didn't end up coming out on the 64 like it was originally supposed to and one of those things was that there was a yellow god that was originally slated to be in the game that was removed and I think this is a leftover remnant from that it's possible it's possible B you could also be just speculating in this game that are as broken as this scythe is he's standing right there unfortunately he keeps hitting the pillar and here he's not hitting anything at all the scythe just isn't doing anything mm, that makes sense i mean i didn't stream for like you know ever oh hi friends i forgot about these guys Yeah, we have to cast this again. What a, like a weird things in this game, like the scythe being broken, that make this game kind of unreplayable for the to make it to the third playthrough. And you kind of feel like you have to chug along, just keep going, just to try and so you can see that final ending. I agree that I think I that feel about this game sometimes the way I feel about certain RPGs, where I hate like specific dungeons in the game but I really love the game and I want to keep playing but there are certain dungeons that just hinder me from wanting to continue I agree I'm killing it I am I think we're gonna finish this video and then I'm gonna see how much longer this LP is um we have to summon some bacon zombies have are to do puzzles i don't really suggest playing them for any other part although you do have attacks to, that you can use there's a lot of fun stuff to play around with in this game but there's not a lot of need to do it sure what the blue smoke in this hallway is it gives the room a nice look and it goes away when all the enemies are killed but i'm really I, I you know i honestly just don't know what it does it might be uh doing um like preventing you from healing magic or something i honestly don't I still don't know it to this day um 
Yeah, I didn't. I started streaming again in 2020 in January of 2020, like right before the pandemic started. So it was like actually perfect timing. Like I was streaming in like January and February and March of that time. Um, and then Animal Crossing came out and I started streaming a lot more. See, it's just them all being tied in together again. I love it. What? I am the guardian of this temple, the Forbidden City. None shall enter except the Chosen. Speak. You are the Chosen. For many years, I have tested those who came here, and all have failed. You are... Unaffected by the power I wield. Kareem just cutting people in half down here over and over again. Be the chosen. Poor Kareem. I? Once I was as you were, confused and without answers. Yet they came in time. Now my duty is complete. I can finally rest. My sacrifice was not in vain. Mm. I don't know about that, buddy. Also, where's the girl he was with? They broke up. I think these cutscenes are different. Something that you don't realize when you're first... I'm probably gonna talk here. Something you don't realize when you're first playing through this game is that... I'm trying not to talk over myself. You are not Zelatoth. You are Ulioth. If you don't know where all the no, sorry. areas are in this level, you will be wandering around for a really long time. The map is awful and they can be really difficult and that's why I don't replay this chapter a lot. But since we already found all of them, all we need to do is walk back to the beginning of the level. So I think and we're just about back to go oh, report we think all we the cut creepy it. things we found on here. Ugh, gross stuff everywhere. I don't know about the chosen one test being if I can't kill you, you're good to go. That's true. I don't either, honestly. And what news do you bring me, architect? Because I think the, the, the foundations are in Well, you can't be Uleoth. You have to be Chaturga versus Zelatoth, right? If you try to build there. You have done well to complete your goal, Bianchi. The construction will continue as planned. But we're gathering the Ulea. We well, gathered Mantrox heart too. To build there. But you're not you're not Zelatoth, which it takes like a while to realize that. City is the very reason it was built. For you to understand, you must witness it firsthand. Let me educate you. God put this one with the others of the sacrifice. I am the scourge of God, appointed to chastise you, since no one knows the remedy for your iniquity except me. You are what does that even mean? But I am more wicked than you. That is true. He's pretty wicked. This cutscene is so weird. You're just throwing people down into a fucking pit? Now you, architect, you are about to make your largest contribution to this project. Nice. Like, but like, why though? Like, why? Like, why? Why? I don't know. I don't know why, but that that's what happened. You just, you're concrete now. That's not how concrete works. That's not how fossils work. That's not how any of it works. I don't understand why that's what they do to him. I mean, it's scary to become concrete. We somehow learned how to survey from watching that.
It's so interesting. So much of my channel is devoted to me playing games people know really well that I don't know at all. And this playthrough was dedicated to me playing a game very well that nobody knew very well. So it's like very the opposite of what I create now. So it's really interesting to me to watch it and just think about how that was what that was originally what Let's Play felt like for me. And now instead of that, it's more like I am the I am the voice in which people's things that people know become fresh again instead of teaching. It's just a very different situation. Oh, just the timeline doesn't make any sense. You try making sense of it, and I'll see you guys next time. There's no, you can't, it's, you're not going to make sense of it. Okay, hold on. Hold on, we're going to pause. Okay, we have, still have 20, 30, 50. Um, we still got like three hours left of this. One unavailable video is hidden. One unavailable video is hidden. I wonder if that was something FI made that I, that he had. Um, all right. So I think it is 3 a.m. here. If I take a nap now, I can come back at like 7 o'clock my time or maybe, yeah, 7 o'clock my time. We can do some morning wake up stuff. I can stretch. AOL will be very proud of me. Then I'll get a quick break. So um, let me look at real quick. I'm going to leave this open. Let me see if there's a way for me to pause this. Um, not that. See if I can pause my subathon. I know I can reset it, but I don't know if I can put that this off of the screen. Um, So I can only reset it. I can't pause it. Um, but we will just say six hours and 40 minutes is what we're going to come back with tomorrow.